a little sneak peek of the brand new Mac on a, over here at Bergie's Mac. And I guess give them a call if you're interested. It's a, it's a sweet truck. I like it. I would definitely buy that truck. Doing a little comparison video of a Pal Finger and a Stellar. Got a Stellar here on the Mac. Cab over chassis. It's a it's a sweet truck. I um I was thinking about getting one of these and was thinking about um, getting another cab over versus a so there's the other truck. Instead of a um, conventional cab, I was thinking about getting a cab over. It's a Mac. It's a Mac cab over. The good thing about these trucks is, is that they're you know way more capable in the in the um, in the city. I'm gonna have to give them a call, see how much they want for this thing. I have to see what um, size containers. If you notice, there's a um, a huge gap in between the cab, the engine, and the two. Just probably right about here. Uh, in real life, that's about three feet there. So I'm not sure why they did that. They mounted that pretty far back. It's probably because of the room that they have there with the air, with the um, air dryer. Oh, there's a lot of electronics and, and stuff like that there. So that's probably it right there. That's the reason I just answered it for myself. This is what it looks like compared to the to the pal finger. They do the same thing in the back. They're extending the, the tail a little bit, not as much. If you look at the back of the of the um, of the pal finger, it's about two feet. If you look at the back of the stellar, it's only about a foot. So you're actually gaining some room on the on the pal finger versus the stellar, as far as you're able to take longer dumpsters because now your ICC isn't a problem because you have your bumper extended. So if that bumper was back here, that dumpster would be hanging off the back more. So you're gaining about two feet from the pal finger versus the stellar. And they got the same basic things with the lockers here for your tabs. They got some longer lockers versus the uh, a short locker. There's the jib. They have a little uh, a little uh, hump in it right there. It's not an adjustable height hook. That's a 54 inch hook but is not adjustable. That one is adjustable. There's nothing wrong with them, nice and strong. I'd have to I'd have to do a little bit more, you know, I don't know how the rails are definitely built different. Um, on the cow finger, the rails right here that the, that the whole body is built on. If you notice, the rails go all the way to the front of my truck. Let's see what theirs does. Theirs do not. So there's stock on mine. The gantry is on the rails. That's a definitely um, seems to me like it would be a more a stronger unit. This one does not do that. There is stops. I'm gonna tell you guys, that is the reason I buy a pal finger. And I just realized it again. And it always comes back to me being able to go to the factory and having the factory cutting the rails to length. The factory um, making decisions on the factory floor that they could do. Now, if you're gonna have something built off factory floor, then they're gonna have to ship these things and, you know, not be made custom to the truck. Not that there's anything wrong with this, but I think that that's why I make the decisions that I make on going to Palfinger. Anyway, that's that's a, uh, that's a that's a Stellar on a Mac. That's a, that's a, a, kind of like a truck I'd wanna buy. This truck right here, um, I'd buy this truck if it could handle 22 foot cans. If, uh, if it was available to me. There's nothing wrong with that truck at all. It has the uh, steel, not aluminum wheels on it. Keep the Keeps the weight up, but the cost down. It's got the, um, I think they call, Mac calls that their Camelback suspension. I'm not a Mac guy, I never owned a Mac. I'm definitely a Mac fan, it's a sweet truck. My neighbor used to be the, uh, one of the CEOs of Mac. And back in, he was the guy, my, my neighbor, I'll give you a little bit of history. He actually launched the first B, Model B, I think it was, in 1965. He was the guy that he launched it, and he and he put the first one and the last one off the factory. It was like 1965. Yeah, I see pictures of him. He's like 90, 100 and some years old now. The guy's amazing. I love the guy. He still goes to the uh, he still goes to the country club on Max Dime every twice a day. All right, guys, that's about it. There's your Mac.